Hey there, Toys and Collectible fans, this is Flyguy for TechSushi.com giving you a look at this. Michael Keaton as Batman, Batman DX09 as it's known by another name. This is the 1 6 scale, 12 inch basically, collectible articulated figure. Uh, so, Hot Toys, uh, DC Comics on the side, bit of a logo. Not much else other than the uh, all of the people who've been involved, the cast who sculpted and manufactured, and you can't really read it anyway, so let's not bother. On the side of it is an advertisement for the rather cool, huge scale to this uniquely crafted uh, Batmobile. So that's from Tim Burton's film. Inside the box, once you open up, there's a couple of layers and stacks inside, which I'll take you through and show you. There is some text there which talks about uh, Bruce Wayne uh, in Gotham. Nothing you're missing, trust me. But inside this box, which is now empty, is lots of layers, as I mentioned, for the figure itself. And the first layer you're exposed to is this. And hopefully things won't fall out too much, but you basically get three heads for this figure. In fact, it's not three heads, three chins. Uh, let me see if I can show you an example. So one of the, the one which is live on the figure, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, this is in fact, you'll just see there, is not actually a head, but it's just a piece of plastic which holds the chin. Because this is the storage part. This is the actual uh, piece itself. Let me just focus in on that for you. So this basically plugs into the figure uh, in this part here and clips on with magnets allowing you to, if you want, display a different face on the figure. So I went for a more generic kind of face, but this one is a kind of bloody one there as well. So lots of uh, bits and pieces on this that you can chop around and make the figure uh, you're very much your own. So just taking you back to show you uh, this figure, the way it comes with. Again, two different kind of heads, uh, no heads, chins I should mention yet again. And uh, a user guide and basically it looks like the outline for a dead body, but basically that's where you put the uh, the figure. As it mentioned there, there's the, the features on the figure. Newly developed Batman with over 30 points of articulation. Movie accurate Batsuit with cape and classic Batman logo. Uh, and there's the artists yet again that were involved. So that's one layer of the styrofoam that goes inside the box. The next one, in fact the first one should have been before that, was this. Uh, it's basically a bat symbol that can pop out. It says only one will claim the night. And you can just gently prise that out, and that's what you've got as a bat symbol. If you want to shine a light through that, you could um, make a bit of a reflection. Let's see if that'll work there. There we go. So maybe make a bat symbol somewhere. Anyway, you get the idea. So that plugs into the, the front of the panel on the box itself, and again, that's you got your bat symbol. Uh, but a nice piece of the packaging, which when we compare to some other figures uh, in the DX Hot Toys line, um, the packaging can be very plain. This one, now I can't really take all of this out because we'll be here forever. Trust me, a lot of these parts are incredibly small and fiddly. You can see them pretty clearly through uh, the plastic uh, with too much reflection there. Basically, you've got a kind of knife piece uh, there uh, on the, the figure. I'll explain more about that in a minute. That's for a, a part which allows, if you remember seeing where he uses his fist basically and punches out, two rods can fire out and he slides down. So uh, watch the movie, you'll know what I mean. You've got a couple of almost like little nunchuck stars, uh, a small kind of bat radio piece and a tiny little uh, bat control, I guess. I don't know quite what that's for, but uh, we certainly have that available here. Let me take this off and I'll show you the instructions which will give you a little bit more. And you do need to read the instructions because there are some fiddly parts on this figure, some very small and easily breakable parts. So this just gives you a rough idea of uh, how to, there you go, there's the torch thing I was trying to do later on, transparent PVC, make your bat signal, and there's the swapping out the chins to give you the different uh, style. So again, a little hard to get off sometimes, but it gives you the instructions there how to do that. This gives you all sorts of information, which we will have a look through. So that Batman here has a cape, and it can obviously display in different ways. Um, that's just a mention of the pairs, the personal... Is it personal? Parallel, thank you. Parallel eyeball rolling system. I can't remember what that was. So uh, that allows the eyeballs to literally move, and we'll show you that as we review the figure. We mentioned the magnetic, magnetic changeable face, and uh, there's the cape. You can insert two rods to allow the cape to basically fan up into that kind of shape if you choose to. On this one here, there's more of that uh, piece I was talking about, that uh, kind of gun and it moves, the, the, the gauntlet allows it to kind of fire and move there, so it gives you the instructions on how to do it. 
the piece I was really keen for was the grapple gun, which isn't quite as it describes there, so don't get too frustrated. You'll see down on the, the bottom of the belt there, uh, it shows, just as a course put my finger right across it, but uh, it shows you a very neatly tied up uh, grapple gun right next to the belt. And there's a magnet behind the belt which allows that to clip on. Sadly, it doesn't quite work like that, but never mind. Um, triangle shield, again, another scene in the film where he shoots out a shield and basically uh, fronts a guy in the face. The stand also does light up, very small uh, lights, not a great deal of power that comes off them, but it does add a, a nice touch if you've got it displayed in a hot toys cabinet or some other cabinet in your house. Um, and that's pretty much us, because we're into a different language, uh, basically uh, changing the Japanese there, uh, explaining the same things I've just mentioned. So let's put them to the side, and finally get on with showing you the figure. So there are a couple of attachments um, I'll mention just a second. Oops, I just knocked one off. There's the base again, as we mentioned. Back logo, getting a little bit of dust sitting there, waiting for a review. I've had this for weeks now, what's it, months? Um, but there we go, one uh, stand, and that sits basically on his crotch, and uh, that allows that to move up and down. So, another kind of uh, feature or part which comes with this figure, he's got a batarang piece. Uh, it doesn't really have anywhere to sit or go onto the figure as far as I can tell. Uh, please do tell me if you know. But we do have this uh, Batarang PC you can see with the kind of silver tips on it and this string which goes all the way down to a small tiny silver hook. Not quite sure where that can go but uh, it doesn't go on his utility belt which is rather annoying. Now if we come and have a look, we'll come back to the figure in a second. Uh, there's that utility belt thing I mentioned. As you can see, it doesn't quite sit next to the uh, centre of that belt at all, and it's a little bit off kilter. That's because the magnets behind it, that's the position they're in. These are magnetically held on. So if I remove them, you'll see, well, that one is anyway, that clips into a small piece there. But I had to position this one because the magnet that's inside there uh, only sits against that part of the belt. So you can't, unfortunately, get it up too close. As for the figure itself, let's get a good on close up at this. Uh, the cape, it has to be said, is amazing. It's very, uh, very cool. So there's uh, Bats himself. Now if I take the back of his head off, there's a small magnetic part which clips off. You'll see... Moving eyeballs. Just kind of creepy. There we go. So uh, that's basically what it looks like at the back. A magnetic piece. You barely notice once you put that back on and get that connected up. There you go. You barely notice it. it just blends in with the figure itself. Looks as if it's part of the cowl. The cowl is uh, quite a piece to get on with the cape at first, and there's a lot of cape. Uh, again, this is this can go all the way up to uh, this kind of size. Uh, with the poles in it, so there's a lot going on in this figure. It has to be said, the entire figure has got this plastic, rubbery uh, bodysuit all over it, and actually it limits articulation. If you know Hot Toys, all of the figure itself is um, basically a completely articulated body. Everything moves, bendable, movable. This one's a little different. different. It's slightly limited, and almost when you bend things, they kind of begin to move back into uh, a memory just because of the suit. So it's a little bit awkward. Not so bad in the knees, I should say, but the rest of the body is uh, uh, very, very limited in terms of its movement that you can position. Again, you can't even position them too far because, as you'll see, it's kind of, it's just limited. So, again, the cowl, the neck, you can't move either because it's just so much part of the uh, overall figure. So it's kind of limited. It's one of those figures, but then this is a Hot Toys figure. It's not a three and three quarter one you're going to display it. But uh, in terms of the detail on them, it is uh, pretty superb. You'll see the paintwork there, all the ribs on the uh, six pack, or I don't know, this is like a 12 pack down there. Uh, but some great detail on this. These are damn sharp, and so watch yourself. Uh, very easily you can tear the cape. It does mention that in the booklet. But um, all in, he's a pretty stunning Batman. And again, that's a removable chin if you wanted it to be so. Oops. But the cape is uh, uh, amazing material, uh, very beautiful, really well made, uh, just tons of it, that's the only kind of problem I have. On the back you'll see a little bit more of the body armour, as well as the back butt. 
and that's it. That's all there really is to this figure. Uh, but uh, a rather cool one nonetheless. Certainly goes very well with the Jack Nicholson Joker, which I've got. We'll give you a review of that uh, one day soon. But uh, stunning, rather cool Batman figure. And that certainly would love if you could, above that uh, button up there, the subscribe button if you're on YouTube, hit it. And we've got lots of cool reviews coming your way. You'll get to see these things, decide whether you want to buy them or not, and hopefully save yourself a few buck, bucks and even uh, get a good couple of deals along the way too. So let us know what you think. Uh, comments at below or on facebook.com slash sushi And we'll see you for more Batastic reviews coming up soon. Cheers. Thank you.